Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love cemeteries and learning about cemetery history as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be taking you somewhere new every week. For those of you who have been watching my channel for some time, I know I have a lot of new subscribers out there and I just want to thank you so much for staying with me. If you've been with me for a while, you're probably waiting for, you know, these episodes to come out each week. And if you don't already know, I do live in Florida. So I think I got up to late September with my videos. And then I just decided to take like a mental and emotional break. Uh, we were in the area of Florida. We live in St. Pete. So we're in that area that was most affected by hurricanes Helene and Milton. And while we didn't get damage to our home, uh, water damage anyway. We have a lot of downed trees, um, a little bit of damage outside from the trees and stuff, but not nothing major. But our family and friends did suffer some major damage. Uh, my dad, he's 77, he had to basically gut his whole house. And um, while it's not immediately happening to me, um, the fact that it's happening to my dad and my friends too, it just kind of put me in a mental state where I wasn't able to provide great content because I wasn't feeling up to it, to be honest with you. And I'm just so grateful that you're staying with me and hopefully you're enjoying the videos. Hopefully I had enough content out there to get you through Halloween and give you some great ideas. I plan to get back to that very soon. I'm not sure yet in what capacity I will be coming back. I was doing a costume every week starting in May. I may do something like a costume every, like the third week of every month or something because I do have a full-time job and it's kind of hard to juggle, uh, but we'll see. And it might be something where it's just gonna be spontaneous. Like some months there'll be two costumes, maybe a different month we'll have one costume, maybe one month, three costumes. I don't really know. It'll always be on Wednesdays, though, if you do want to catch the costumes. All of this being said, I'm praying for everybody that was affected by the hurricanes. Perhaps I have followers that do live here in Florida that were affected. And I just want to say my prayers go out to you. I'm thinking about you, and I'm hoping that everything gets on, back on track really, really soon. As you know, prior to all of these hurricanes and all the madness that has gone on in the last month, I did go to Jamestown, New York to visit Lucille Ball, uh, her, her place of residence where she grew up. I, I visited her two homes. I did visit her gravesite. I went to the park and saw the two statues that they have of her. As you know, there's an ugly one and there's a pretty one. Now, the guy, I think he was pretty much ran out of town, either that or he never sculpted again. The man who actually created the first ugly statue, um, they gave him such a hard time about it, he, he never did another sculpture, is what I heard. The beautiful scu sculpture is just extraordinary. However, they put this big, ugly jungle gem behind it that's like all kinds of bright and neon colors. And I think that that needs to be removed. And it looks like there there was some kind of caution tape around it. Maybe they're gonna be doing something to it. Um, maybe removing it, hopefully, and putting it in a different area of the park that's not right behind that statue is what I would hope for. But anyway, in today's episode, we're gonna be visiting the Lakeview Cemetery in Jamestown, New York. And this is where Lucille Ball is laid to rest. Enjoy. I'm standing here in front of Lucille Ball's childhood home in Celeron, New York. It's located at 59 Lucy Lane. Exciting. Her image is on the door, 59lucylane.com. You can probably look that up and see the inside of it if you're interested. But this is the house. It's cute, it's quaint, and it was a, it's basically a single family home. But can you imagine the memories here? That's where a star was born. Right here in this house. It's a cute little house. All the houses actually here in New York are so cute. And historic. Just beautiful houses. 
doesn't look like anybody's here right now, but I do think it is owned. Oh yeah, look at the garage. <laughs> All right, I want my garage painted this way. That's awesome. <laughs> it's painted like her most famous dress. And here is the outdoor grill that was actually featured in an episode of I Love Lucy. Which is awesome. Awesome to see. Look right here on the side of the garage depiction of the chocolate factory episode so cool it's a nice house I love it I wish I could live here but that's it you know that's the tour of the house got a little basement it looks like down there that is where Lucille Ball spent her childhood. So there's a picture of Lucille Ball when she was like three years old, a famous picture with a big bow in her hair. And I'm just wondering if that was photographed right in one of these windows, because there was a window, I think, behind her. But that's it. The home of Lucille Ball. We're here at Lakeview Cemetery, the final resting place of Lucille Ball, established in 1858. Let's go in and see what we can see. We made it to Lakeview Cemetery in Jamestown, New York, the final resting place of Lucille Ball. And I brought her some flowers. Her favorite flower was yellow roses and she also loved peonies they didn't have any peonies so i got her some yellow roses and there's some calla lilies in there too perfect because my name is callie right this is a pretty big cemetery and it's very hilly so you're going to want to make sure you're wearing comfortable shoes i neglected to do that in the forest lawn cemetery and i paid for it <laughs> beautiful there's a green line here I'm pretty sure this is kind of leading you to where all of the most famous people buried here are Lucille Ball is the most famous buried here it's a lot of uh, congressmen senators there's quite a few New York mayors buried here if you're into like politics and big names and government I'm out of breath because everything's uphill There's a blue line here. They seem to stop at the VIPs. I think anywhere the line stops, there's like a VIP buried there. This was a really cool one though. Lots of really neat monuments and a lot of super old headstones. Descom Allen. Descom cost a lot of money. <laughs>
Now we're following a blue line. And I'm told by the locals that when you start getting close to Lucy, which these people may be here for her, but there'll be uh, pink hearts on the walkway. Like I said, there's a lot of important people buried here. Lucy's just the most famous. Now, Lucille Ball was originally buried, not buried because she was cremated, <laughs> but she was originally at rest in one of the niches in Forest Lawn Cemetery in Hollywood, where all the famous people are buried. The really big one. Oh, she is here. Oh, there's the hearts. I thought they'd be pinker than that. Look. Um, so she was originally laid to rest there in Hollywood and they actually brought her ashes back here to Lakeview and uh, put her ashes here, which I think is the right thing to do, seeing as how she's from here. Oh, look, there she is. I placed her flowers right there. On her headstone. This is so surreal. I just ordered her favorite perfume off of Amazon. I got like two bottles for 10 bucks. Now Lucille Ball was not big on strong perfume fragrances. The way she would kind of scent herself to smell feminine is that she would use sachets like in her drawers for her clothes and in her closet so that she'd naturally have a scent of you know, whatever the fragrance was in the sachet without having to wear heavy perfumes. But this one called Florida Water was her favorite. And it was actually a, a cheap, inexpensive aftershave that she found the fragrance really beautiful. So her last words before she died was my Florida Water. And she was answering a question somebody was asking her if they could get her anything and she said my Florida water and just moments later she was gone so she wanted her her little perfume to put on and then she passed away and that was in 1989 <clears throat> and on here you've got the Ball family Henry Durrell Ball September 25th, 1887 to February 28th, 1915. Henry Durrell Ball was her dad. And then Desiree Evelyn Hunt Ball, which Lucy's middle name is Desiree, named after her mom. Desiree Evelyn Hunt Ball, September 21st, 1892 to July 20th, 1977. Lucille Desiree Ball Morton, because she married Gary Morton. That was her second husband after Desi. And the funny thing is, Gary Morton didn't even know who she was when they met. So that's kind of crazy. Her birthday was August 6, 1911. And she passed April 26, 1989. Now, August 6, or that first weekend in August, they have a big festival here featuring comedians that come from all over the United States for this event. So if you actually want to come to Jamestown at a time when there's a lot of Lucy stuff going on, come here in that first week when they're having the festival and you'll really have a great time. <laughs> I didn't know that until we got here, so I may have to come back sometime and catch that. It says you've come home. It says you've come home because they brought her home from California. And then Fred Henry Ball, July 17th, 1915 to February 5th, 2007. And Fred Hunt, 1865 to 1944. Flora Bell, Orcutt Hunt, born 1867, died in 1922. Here's a Harold Hunt. This is the whole Hunt family, which is the mom, Desiree, her, her family, her side of the family, the maternal side was the Hunt family. 
and also who raised Lucy after her dad died of typhoid fever when she was just four years old. So they're all laid to rest right here. It's pretty cool. It's a beautiful cemetery and the trees here are stunning. You can just see the hills going up into the cemetery. Now cemeteries with hills are probably my favorite. They look so cool because you've got just stacks kind of of headstones going up. It just looks so neat. Kind of Halloween-y, very cool. I wanted to take a peek into some of these mausoleums. This is the family of William J. Maddox. Another name I've seen a lot here that I think is prevalent in Jamestown is Peterson and Pentagrass. Here's one looks like we might be able to peek into. Robert Cook Bradshaw. Oh yeah, a lot of inserts in there. Can you see? A whole wall. <laughs> These are full casket uh, niches. Cool. Uphill again. I had that pizza for lunch. I'm probably working it right off. I woke up this morning and just, it's kind of a walking town here in Jamestown. We just walk from place to place and just drive back to our um, bed and breakfast at night. But so much walking and walking in these cemeteries, man, you'll be feeling it. Definitely will be feeling it. It's like calories in, calories out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's pretty crazy. Now, just in case you're wondering, Lucille Ball was not hard to find. There's plenty of markers on the ground showing you how to get to her and she's really just off the road she's not deep into the cemetery you know rick james was like 50 feet in from the road so <laughs> she's not hard to find also in case you are wondering desi is not laid to rest with lucy you will notice that he was not named there he was also cremated and he passed of lung cancer in 1986 but then he, his cremains were taken to Mexico and scattered in Sea of Cortez. So that is where Desi is laid to rest. Well, this is another big cemetery that it would really take you three days to cover it all. There's a lot of headstones, but not a lot of huge monuments in this one. Like I said, Lucille Ball is the most famous person buried here and then you see how kind of modest her headstone is for being such a huge deal in life. It always surprises me to see the headstones of these celebrities because really they're more modest than 
politicians and doctors and, and things like that. It's so crazy. And that's what a lot of these headstones in this cemetery are. They're more of the just normal headstones. There's a lot of really neat older ones, but I don't want to bore you. There are headstones that we've seen similar headstones in, in other historic cemeteries. And um, I have a whole playlist if you want to look at those. You can watch them all day long. <laughs> anyway, that does it for this one. I'll see you at the next one. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's episode. We had a great time, or as Lucy would say, we had a ball in Jamestown, New York. It was just a great feeling to be there, walking where she used to walk, being where she used to be. It was almost surreal. It was just somebody that I've loved my whole life and I'm wanting to go and um, just feel that. Unfortunately, there's a comedy festival that goes on the month of her birthday, which she was born August 6th in 1911. The month of her birthday, it's actually the first weekend or the se second, it's the weekend of her birthday. Whatever that falls on every year, they have a comedy festival where all these comedians fly in from all over the United States. And there's this big festival thrown in her honor. And I just missed that because we went in late August. I will have to go back and catch that at some point. But if you're wanting to go in prime time, I would definitely, I know I mentioned that in the video, but it's been a while since I did record this video. This was the end of August and it is officially November now. Wow. I just wanted to mention that one more time to all of you Lucy fans out there. If you really want to go to Jamestown, and that's a bucket list item for you too, go in the beginning of August, the weekend of her birthday, and they're going to be having an awesome festival thrown in her honor. And I just wanted to share, I did get my shipment of Florida water in, and you know, to me, it kind of smells like a baby wipe. It's a fresh scent. It smells like a baby wipe to me though. <laughs> I don't know what baby wipes smelled like back in the day, but that's, it's just a clean smell, which makes sense, you know? I just keep, I keep one on my dresser if I wanna splash some on and I keep one in my collection behind me because this was an important part of Lucille Ball. Um, this aftershave basically that she wore as a perfume that she really, really loved. And I think I heard also that she did wear Chanel number no. five. Um, sometimes like maybe if she was going to an event or something uh but that does it for today's episode again i want to thank all my new subscribers who stuck with me through the time i was not on doing videos it's just when i'm here and doing videos for you i want to be present and i want to be in a good mood i don't want to be you know halfway there it's just really important to me that i'm providing good content for you and that the quality is good, you know, and I just emotionally, I just haven't been able to bring myself to come back on. I needed like a little bit of a break. So I took it. If any of you content creators out there are just getting started and you feel like you're just overworking and just overdoing it a little bit, take a little break, you know, because it's not worth it to, to run yourself into the ground and be tired and stressed and overwhelmed. Just take a little break. And then when you're feeling better, come back because uh, we all miss you, basically. So <laughs> that does it for today's episode. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video. And I'll see you next time.